The upstart automaker Tesla has been aiming high, trying to prove their new Cybertruck is superior to the F-150. But before you believe what you see in the strength test video that Tesla put out, you'll want to hear what our Rod Maloney has learned. Elon Musk would tell you on Twitter the pictures don't lie. His new electric pickup truck strapped to the best-selling F-150, the Tesla Cybertruck dragging the Ford up a hill with ease, the Ford tires smoking as it struggles. Of course, at Ford, those were fighting words. Uncharacteristically, Ford Vice President Sonny Madra immediately tweeted, hey, Elon Musk, send us a Cybertruck and we'll do the apples to apples test for you. Emojis flashing. Musk shot right back on Twitter, bring it on. But wait a minute, is this test right or even fair? Navigant Research Chief Auto Analyst Sam Abel Samid sums it up. It was really not very representative of anything. Because, he says, the Tesla is a four-wheel drive truck. You can't see what's in the truck bed. He bets it's a couple of thousand pounds. It was pulling uh, an F-150, a rear-wheel drive F-150 with nothing in the bed. And, you know, traction, you know, the, tr the amount of traction that you can get Ultimately, the, the amount of power you can put to the ground depends on the traction you can get. So, apples and oranges. But then again, Elon Musk, fresh off a disastrous unveiling of his Cybertruck because bulletproof glass proved not to be quite that strong, has done this with other companies like Ferrari, Lamborghini, and Porsche, too. Abel Sami doesn't think that we'll ever see the real matchup. Basically, it's a case of any publicity is good publicity for Tesla. Ford put out a statement today and they didn't even address the test. They just said, hey, we've been building the best trucks for 40 years and they want to keep it that way. Now, there is a way to actually determine whether these trucks are comparable. It's called the SAE J2807 test. Very difficult test that the industry has started using over the past five or six years. And uh, it's one of those things where we'll have to wait and see whether Elon Musk will actually put his truck to that test. We'll have to wait and see again. Reporting live in Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4.